Here's a brief overview of how to set up your photosynthesis and respiration lab. See page 121 of your lab manual for a list of materials that you'll need to provide and those from your lab pack. Two rubber bands, something to use as a timer, some baking soda, and a lamp that can be fitted with a 100 watt bulb. Clear tape, some distilled water, and petroleum jelly or some Crisco. You'll need a cardboard box or some dark fabric to put over your respirometer. Now for the items that you'll need from your lab pack kit. Grab your safety goggles, your graduated cylinder, the large test tube, test tube brush, and the glass stir rod. From the dissection kit, you'll need the plastic ruler and the scalpel. Look for the disposable straw. Last, you'll need the respirometer, which is a piece of bent glass tubing inserted through a rubber stopper. The bromothymol blue solution is used in the second half of the experiment. Be sure to have your spring scale and weighing bag handy. Let's assemble your respirometer. Refer to page 125, step C, at the top of the page. Affix the ruler, metric side up, with clear tape to the long section of the glass tubing. The increments on the ruler will be useful reference points later in the experiment. Use two rubber bands to attach the top and bottom of the large test tube to the outside of a jar or drinking glass. This will securely hold the test tube in an upright position and make it easier to record changes in the glass tubing. If needed, pour tap water into the glass for stability. Attach the weighing bag to the spring scale and measure the mass of the bag. Add baking soda to the bag until the scale reads enough to account for 1.5 grams of baking soda and the mass of the bag. Add about 25 milliliters of water to your graduated cylinder, then transfer all of the baking soda into the graduated cylinder. Fill the cylinder with the remaining water and use the stir rod to dissolve all of the baking soda. Fill the large test tube about 75 percent full with the sodium bicarbonate solution. With the scalpel, trim the stalk end of your Elodia sprig or any other broad-leafed water plant so that the stem is cleanly cut. Submerge the plant, cut end up, in the baking soda solution that's in the test tube. Place your lamp fitted with a 100 watt bulb in line with your jar filled with tap water in line with your plant inside the respirometer. This is the basic setup for part one of the exercise.